Now. Right now at 5.30, a BSO deputy making a disgusting discovery inside a mobile home in Deerfield Beach. The deputies found dozens of cats living in filthy conditions inside the trailer. We are hearing from a friend of the owner who says she's been caring for strays for years but has recently become overwhelmed. Local 10's Alex Finney is live with more. And well, Janice, we have heard stories just like this. At first, it starts as one, and next thing you know, you have dozens of animals living in your home. You're not able to care for them. And that is exactly what it seems as though has happened here. Sadly, we know that one of the cats had to be euthanized, but we also understand that they have all now been brought here to the Broward Animal Center. Take a look. Dozens and dozens of cats found living in deplorable conditions over the weekend. Disgusting. Raw reaction from a BSO deputy that discovered over 70 cats at this Deerfield Beach home. The cages are stacked up, like, like how they're on the side of the house, like against the walls. The cats alleged former owner Nicole Dubras could potentially face criminal charges, according to deputies. Law enforcement showing up to her home where they walked into the startling discovery. Most of them are fairly underweight. Um, a lot of respiratory uh, illness. This one's boo. The cats were removed and brought here to the Broward Animal Center. Sadly, one had to be euthanized. Neighbors reported the hoarding on Friday. Are the, are the cats in the cages? And animal rescue groups at the home during the removal process also chiming in on social media. Most of them were really skinny, sick, caked up feces everywhere, urine everywhere. A friend coming to Dupra's defense saying she has been sick and is on dialysis, which drains a lot of her energy. Unfortunately, her health has failed and her kidney that was a transplant from 2006 just doesn't work anymore. He's a good boy. The cats are now up for adoption. In terms of illness and injury, there aren't too many with severe needs and likely they will all recover. And so again, the cats are here at the Broward Animal Center. They are open tomorrow. They are hoping that they can get them happy and safe, loving homes as soon as possible. We know that the center is also partnering with area shelters as well to hopefully get these these cats the homes that they so desperately need. For now, this is the very latest live near Dania Beach. Alex Finney, Local 10 News.